Hey everybody, it's Friday night for me, and I got kind of a special uh, beer to drink here. Never mind the paint chips we're painting the house. You gotta indulge me a couple minutes. Uh, there's a little backstory on this one. Florida Lease from Four Quarters Brewing. So, about four years ago, I got an email from a guy who lived in Vermont, and he said, Hey man, I like your videos. I'm gonna be in Minneapolis. Would you want to meet up? Would that be all right? I could bring you some stuff, and we could, you know, meet up. And I'm like, all right. And uh, that was the very first time that that had ever happened. Anyone had ever asked that. Um, since then, I've met several of you guys in person, and actually done some other uh, trades. So this guy in Vermont, Brian, came to Minneapolis, took a bus from Minneapolis to my house in St. Paul. We all hung out. Right over here, 15 feet from where I'm sitting right now, we drank his homebrew. He left a bunch of Vermont beer that he brought with me to drink later. I shared a whole bunch of my homebrew. We got into all kinds of trouble. Uh, it was really fun. And since then, we became friends, traded uh, some beer back and forth through the mail. Flash forward to about a year ago, he says, hey, I have some news. I'm starting a brewery. What? I couldn't believe it, and he he gives me a lot of credit for uh, helping him along the way in his home brewing, which of course eventually led to this brewery. So, right here is the very first bottle of uh, his commercial beer that I have had the chance to taste, and I thought I would do a video. Uh, it's Four Quarters Brewing in uh, Winooski, Winooski, Vermont any of you are in the area please uh, look him up uh, check it out he has uh, tap room hours of course you can buy the beer they has music they do food things he did a wort rally um, I was gonna look it up on the internet but I, on this label it says this beer is a 3.5 percent alcohol tart saison aged in um, red wine barrels so it's super low in alcohol but Let's give it a try. Oh, also I have uh, music from Vermont that I was actually at this show. And I have the beer candle of friendship. So, there you go. Obviously we're in a low light situation here, but uh, I'll do my best. It is a pale color, which you would want from a Saison. It's a little bit hazy, which is also completely fine. Cheers. Getting like some bready, bready as in like bread, not necessarily bread. Uh, multi notes, uh, like the dry multi nose off the nose also a little bit of tartness in the nose it's kind of um, bubbly here right now let's give it a try mm. man now when you hear about session IPAs personally I couldn't care about those I could not care less about those than I do because I am never satisfied when I drink a four or five percent alcohol IPA it is not the flavor that I want I would much rather drink a 3.5%, 4% Goza, light Saison, something like this. This thing has a lot of flavor. It does, though, um, have kind of a light body. As you might expect from the low alcohol, probably low original gravity, probably low finishing gravity. Oh, you know, now I'm getting the red wine barrel character. I wonder if that's where a little bit of that tangy tartness, the um, like a, it doesn't taste like it, but like a, like a little bit of like a sour cherry flavor that you get in a, in a red wine maybe. This is nice. It's um, it has a, a light tartness. Certainly you have got to say that this beer is refreshing. You could drink this beer um, a lot of this beer and um, 
you know, it wouldn't be palate fatigue. Uh, it has a really nice flavor. It's um, really well done. I'm kind of surprised it's so low alcohol, and that's what I'm saying. Like, this is the beer that you might as well make if you're making a low alcohol beer. I know he also makes a Potter's beer. You know, I don't know if this is... I don't know if this is a version of his Potter's beer or not. I think this is more of like a Saison. Anyway, Brian, great job on this. Thanks for sending it. Thanks for being a friend over the last few years. Wish you the best of luck with the brewery. Continued success. And uh, everyone else, have a good night.